Our capacity to properly own and care for dogs depends much on our understanding of the peculiar and perhaps perplexing actions and traits of dogs. The things we read and hear about dogs, however, are not always accurate. We'll expose widespread myths about man's best buddy that the majority of us have always accepted as fact in this list. Dogs are colorblind. Dogs are colorblind, which means they can only see black and white, as you've certainly heard at least once in your life. In reality, this is only a fiction. Dogs can perceive some colors, even if their vision prevents them from experiencing them the same way we do. Dogs frequently have a preference for the yellows, blues, and violets in contrast to a grayscale spectrum. This implies that dogs are unable to see hues like red, green, and orange that are visible to humans. Rods and cones make up the photoreceptors in the retina of both humans and dogs. The fovea, a small dip in the retina that allows us to see with great detail, is what, nonetheless, makes human eyesight different. In dogs, this is absent. Dogs do have several optical advantages over humans. That we do not. A dog's retina has more rods than cones, the photoreceptors responsible for scotopic vision, which is vision in low light levels. As a result, dogs have better night vision than humans. When dogs wag their tails, it means they are happy. This one isn't completely untrue. A dog's tail may actually wag in an expression of contentment. This isn't always the case, though. Dogs don't display emotions on their faces the same way that people do. They do this by using their tails. A dog's tail's main purpose is to communicate. In fact, understanding what certain gestures mean may help you better comprehend your pet. Certain movements are rather evident. A tail tucked between the legs, for instance, signifies dread. What about the wag, though? A dog's entire back body will typically swing with the tail when it is happy. A dog waving its tail slowly and high is really expressing caution. This may serve as a warning to you to remain back if you are not familiar with the dog. If the dog's tail is wagging wildly and is dropped, this may indicate that the dog is preparing to run or fight, depending on the situation. Fortunately, it also other way. When your dog's tail isn't wagging, he could just be at ease. The bigger they are, the longer they live. Actually, the contrary is typically true. Although smaller dog breeds like the Chihuahua and Dachshund live an average of 14 to 15 years, a bigger breed like the Alaskan Malamute lives an average of 8 to 10 years. Four giant breeds. Like the St. Bernard, whose typical lifespan is just 5 to 8 years, this lifespan falls even lower. In contrast to practically every other member of the animal kingdom, this peculiar lifespan tendency is peculiar. The overall trend is that an animal's predicted lifespan increases with size. Examining how energy is used helps scientists explain this pattern. Larger animals have slower, more efficient bodily cells that are more durable. Why, then, is this tendency the opposite in dogs? Because of how humans have bred bigger dogs throughout the years, their life expectancy has reduced. In their first year, larger dogs develop more quickly. The largest breed of dog, Great Danes, mature five times more quickly than people do. Large dog breeds mature fast as a result of their rapid growth, shortening their lifespans. They can't see flat screen TVs. Because of their unique visual experiences, it is sometimes believed that dogs are utterly incapable of understanding what is displayed on a flat screen TV. This isn't actually the case, though. Old style CRT TVs create images at a rate of about 24 frames per second, which gives the impression that the image is moving to us. This is due to the fact that our flicker fusion frequency, the number of frames per second we must observe in order to interpret a motion picture as continuous without flicker, is between 16 and 20. This frequency is substantially greater in dogs, hovering between 40 and 80 frames per second. They will only see a lot of flickering when they view a CRT TV. But how about contemporary TVs? Given that flat screen TVs deliver a far greater frame rate per second than traditional TVs do, the idea that dogs cannot perceive images on them is almost certainly untrue. You should wake them up if they appear to be having a nightmare. Whether dogs dream or not has been an ongoing question. Although there is still no definite answer, the evidence points strongly in the direction that they do. Dogs show REM, rapid eye movement, sleep, which is the type of sleep that we have when dreaming. 
Dreaming is also linked with the process of laying down memories, which is something dogs have definitely proven the ability to do. So what about nightmares? For starters, we can't be 100% certain that dogs are able to have nightmares, given that we don't know if they dream at all. For owners who witness their dogs whining and twitching in their sleep, it can be quite stressful leaving them when they appear to be uncomfortable. Many dog owners decide to liberate their dogs from what they believe to be sleep-induced nightmares. However, this can end up causing the dog extra stress and being unhealthy. Dogs need a specific amount of deep sleep, much like people, to maintain mental health and regular growth. Although dogs typically slumber for 14 to 16 hours a day, very little of this time is spent in deep sleep. A dog is probably getting some of the necessary deep sleep it needs when it seems to be dreaming. In fact, disturbing this slumber might be harmful to them. If their noses are wet, they are healthy. In reality, a dog with a warm, dry nose could be as healthy as one with a cold, wet nose. A dog's nose will fluctuate in warmth and moisture from day to day. Their recent behavior, the surroundings, or any other variables could be to blame for this. A dog's nose's temperature and moisture content are in no way accurate or trustworthy indicators of its health. Just as a dog with a hot, dry nose, one with a wet, chilly nose may be experiencing a serious illness. Don't worry if you ever notice your dog having a dry nose. He has most likely been lazing around in the sunshine. Bacon won't harm them. Although it is common knowledge that dogs should not be given chocolate, many people are unaware that many other human food products can harm dogs, too. Perhaps the most shocking in that collection is bacon. For most people, it seems logical that bacon would be a decent treat to give to your canine companion from time to time. After all, bacon is a meat and meat is an essential part of a dog's diet. However, bacon can actually be very harmful to dogs and possibly lead to long-term health problems. The rich levels of fat and grease in this pork snack can cause inflammation of the pancreas, which is referred to as pancreatitis. The pancreas is responsible for releasing digestive enzymes which ensure that the body is able to correctly absorb and digest food. Pancreatitis diminishes the ability of the pancreas, meaning that it cannot function properly. This can lead to your dog digesting food incorrectly and becoming extremely ill. They enjoy being hugged. For dog lovers, this truth may come as a shock. A hug is a tender, consoling act between people. That conduct is simply a means for us to communicate our concern for our dogs. Dogs, on the other hand, don't completely understand the act in the same manner. Dogs view the placement of an arm or leg over the body as a sign of authority, which makes the dog under the arm or leg feel uneasy. We hug one another in this manner. In reality, we are showing power in our dog's eyes while trying to demonstrate our devotion. Not every dog fits this description, though. Depending on his nature and how he perceives the activity, your dog may react differently to a hug. A dog will alter his body language to show whether he is anxious in response to the gesture. The dog could stiffen up, shut his mouth, and possibly lick his lip. This is a clear indication that he is perplexed by the event and is likely pondering what went wrong. But do not fret. It won't affect your dog's impression of you if he doesn't enjoy receiving hugs. Your dog continues to love you. Dogs eat grass when they are sick. It's a prevalent belief that dogs only eat grass to make themselves ill and then vomit to get anything bad out of their systems. In reality, this doesn't happen very often. Less than 10% of dogs that consume grass show signs of illness. Due to a disease called pica, which makes animals crave foods that provide the nutrients and minerals they are deficient in, dogs will occasionally eat grass. Boredom may also cause pica, which can cause your dog to consume other strange items like paint chips. Dogs may occasionally chew grass for territorial reasons. Dogs may eat grass to detect intruders on their property. However, a more straightforward reason for the behavior is that dogs like the flavor of grass. Dogs have unique tastes that they enjoy, just like humans do. Grass could be among them. In any case, it is a myth that dogs only consume grass when they are unwell. Please subscribe and thanks for watching.